Hello everyone I welcome you all to this short tutorial on creating narratives for storytelling from data using Microsoft Excel right so you can create narratives using various set of tools uh, so I'm just going to show how we can use uh, Excel and create simple narratives using referencing and uh, you know uh, 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 and just formula so so let me take an example I have create I have taken an example of covid data which we might be familiar already so so this is a small pivot table i have copy pasted from the covid data which has uh, the months from jan to december and for every month we will know the sum of new cases and it, it's there for all countries where country is a filter so i can you know select multiple countries or i can just uh, you know choose one country and so on right so let me give you a small demo uh, of how it looks sorry yeah so now if you see here i have created israel and it says new covid cases uh, are on a free fall right so you can see the trend dropping and it's this one is automatically created and that's exactly the narrative we want to create now if i change my country let's say i, I change it to india it is covid cases are collapsing right maybe slightly uh, uh, uh slightly it's on a downward trend so if you as and when you select different countries or you know change your selections your 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 narratives also might get updated totally collapsing collapsing and so on so that's the intent so we should we have to create uh, that particular story headline automatically from our data and the chart and let's see how to do that so to do that let's first create a source or reference table based on which we have to create the narrative right so so what i'm going to do i'm creating a small table which is referenced from this particular pivot right so i have selected india here so if you see this table i have jan to december and if you see here it's i'm doing a v lookup of this particular pivot so as and when we create fill change filters and make a selection uh, this region actually does a v lookup and it populates whatever value that's present here uh, that just comes here right so that's the first part we have a small table that references to our selection and now now with this table as the source we have to create a, a graph or a histogram based on which we can come up with narrative so the second is to use this table and create a simple histogram so in this histogram if i go to um select data we could see that the y axis is uh, y axis uh, consists of values from jan to uh, december and if i see the x axis it's basically the month numbers 1 to 2 so i have create i have given this as the source and created this so when i actually change uh, you know selection the graph also gets refreshed from this particular uh, data that's the idea so this part is also done now to create the narrative i should first understand the trend right so whether it's a positive trend or a negative trend that's when i can uh, uh, come up with different uh, boundary conditions so uh, for that i have to compute the slope and uh, that is something we can do very easily so if you see here there's a line which is basically a linear regression line so that just says the trend right so if you see here you can see the equation as well like y equal to minus 95455 which is actually the slope and this particular uh, 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 thing uh, based on the value whether it's negative or positive we can know how intense is the trend and the direction also the magnitude and direction whether it is positive or negative or uh, so and so so to do that you can select the graph and you can go to chart design and there is a icon called add chart element here there will be something called trend line here you can choose linear so that we can have a linear regression projected as a trend so that is that's how we get the trend line in the visualization and the same slope we can either get it from here or i can compute slope you know using the excel slope formula i have referenced this particular data and i create slope if you see the value should be the same here also it's minus 95455 here also it's minus 95455 so now for every selection i have the ref reference table and the graph generated from the reference table and i also compute at the slope now based on this slope i can i can define what is the trend like if it's very highly negative i can say it's a steep 
fall are uh, very highly positive i can say it's a blip scaling but it's kind of the boundary conditions i can say slightly uh, growing or degrowing right so i can come up with different uh, types of uh, trend uh, explanations or indications and that's exactly what i'm going to do now i uh, to have a reference for these boundary scales i took all the countries and i saw what are their uh, you know slopes and i could have an understanding that it's somewhere between minus 100000 to let's say you know a, a different range so now here what i'm going to do i start with minus 100000 and i create several intervals based on how many different narratives i want i i'm just coining uh, a phrase for that particular explanation let's say with very minor high minus 100000 it's totally collapsing uh if it's minus 95000 is collapsing right if it's de growing slightly de growing if it's in the positive state i say it's growing fast if it's very highly positive i say it's scaling so so i create a set of different uh, uh indications or explanations or different themes i want and i have given those boundary conditions if the value is greater than this if the value is greater than this then this and so and so and if you see that's exactly what i'm doing here in this condition i'm checking if b24 what is b24 b24 is the slope of this particular value i have if it is less than or equal to this particular value that i have the boundary condition minus 95000 is it less than minus 100000 yes right it's it's actually yes but if minus 95455 is it less than minus 95000 no and for all the subsequent things it's going to be no only because it's even uh you know um greater than that 90 minus 95000 so now having this as the boundary condition at what point it starts to be greater i take that particular uh indication i i am i'm just trying to showcase it and how am i doing it if you see here below i'm creating if you see this formula it's equal to c36 cell new covid cases that's my prefix hard coded i saw, i then concatenate with the term r and then i go to g24 which is this particular value and i concatenate and i create a sentence it is new covid cases are collapsing and if i go here it basically says where actually you know n n actually begins in this particular range and then then i give the v lookup of that particular uh, value which is collapsing right so now the, uh, the the sentence is created here and this sentence is referenced in this particular graph if you see it's b39 that's what is being used here as title and column b39 is this particular line so so now that's all we do we create a, a set of we first create a source table and then reference the graph compute trend or slope use that slope and come up with different boundary conditions and a theme of explanation for each boundary condition as a narrative and then we concatenate these sentences dynamically and reference it as the title that's exactly what we are doing and so if you see now you know i like i just add more countries right so it will collapse if i change countries so it's de growing so so now automatically these based on the slope uh, we are actually creating these particular narratives and you can do this for any kind of scenario right so so that's a simple exercise i think you can try it with your own customization it's very simple just excel referencing and i hope really it was useful so thank you for listening